So if you guys haven't been living under a rock for the past few months, you'd know about the drama that happened between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. This has been going on for the past few months, but recently it ended with a song by Kendrick Lamar named Not Like Us. And now there are accusations going around that Not Like Us has 30 million streams that were botted. Now, just to give a little summary of the timeline between why all this beef started and kind of why it ended. It started with Kendrick Lamar appearing on the Future and Metro Boomin song Like That. And then after several weeks, Drake responded with push-ups and then a few days later dropped a tailor-made freestyle while Kendrick Lamar was making his response. A week or two later, Euphoria by Kendrick Lamar came out. And then immediately after it, 616 in LA came out. And then the same day, Family Matters by Drake dropped. And then Meet the Grams a day later by Kendrick Lamar dropped. And then finally, Not Like Us on the same day, Kendrick Lamar dropped. And then The Heart Part 6 by Drake came out a day later. Most certainly, Not Like Us was the biggest song to come out of this. If you look at Spotify right now, it has over 300 million streams already. And it came out just about a month and a half ago. And if you guys want a full dive on the background of it, go watch Pyrocynical's video where he mispronounces their names about a zillion times. But anyway, in this year, Kendrick actually appeared on Future and Metro's booming track yeah. like that. But now I'm on this Instagram account. I can't say the name for obvious reasons. On Academic Stream, if you guys don't know who Academics is, he was he's probably the biggest Drake fan out of anyone ever. And he fell asleep while listening to Certified Lover Boy by Drake. For no fucking reason. I just want to know what all these niggas is talking about. Cause Drake is all y'all niggas daddy. That's a fact. But anyways, a stream botter has come forward as a whistleblower in academic stream claiming to have botted Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us song. Out of fear for his own life, he has come forward to protect himself being unalived after receiving threatening text messages from anonymous thugs. This is insane. Botting a, a song on a streaming platform can get you death threats. Like what can't get you death threats nowadays? It's insane. And the only reason I co I'm coming out and like I wanted to say something is because I've I've never been put in this position, but recently, ever since like this whole thing started, I've actually been, you know, receiving texts and people have been telling me not to say stuff and what I've just thing? been put in really weird positions. Wait, wait, what do you mean what thing? Like what like what thing started? Um, it was actually threatening text messages after I worked for a certain artist that we'll get into and uh pretty much telling me not to say stuff. Like certain people were texting me random numbers. Just uh, a bunch of things that I didn't want. And I usually don't say anything. Like, yeah. people know, like, I'm known, people know me. They, like, I keep my mouth quiet, I do my work, and then I'm done. I, I don't, but for my age, the amount of money I have is, like, kind of sickening. I don't want to risk that and then me end up getting robbed or me end up getting shot by somebody else who isn't I'm not trying to post your bank account, brother. Just but speak your truth. All right, fuck it, bro. It's Anthony Soleil. I'm I'm a cra I'm crashing out because like this is for my safety. This is how I feel. That's who paid me. Not saying I was in direct contact with him. That's just the name that was on the account that I got paid by. And that's how I feel. And I'm scared. Obviously, bro. I'm not of age. I'm you know I'm young. I'm underage. I can't do certain th things. I'm scared of people, bro. I do online shit. I'm not a shooter. I'm not a hitter. I got reached out to by people. I did this, and this is what happened. This is my safety net now i don't want to die obviously bro i mean i'm just how i feel and this is what i had to say and it's it's stupid as fuck because obviously i want to keep making money i have like fucking i'm like mid i've made mid seven figures like i'm touching crazy money but then again if somebody's going to come threaten my life why does money matter so <clears throat> the biggest part of this i feel like is don't threaten the the kid who just got paid to do something right stop doing that don't like why why do people feel the need to threaten just a kid who got paid to do something he did it whatever and now they're threatening his life like that's just crazy to me man like ugh, people need to grow up all these records were broken by kendrick lamar with the song not like us fastest rap song just surpassed 100 million streams most single day streams for a rap song most streams most song streams in a week by a rapper if it got bought at 30 million uh streams then it probably would have not broken any of these records okay nope. he confirmed nope. that that drake uh, is the think. only artist in the industry who's not used bots that's really cool man again i don't know who's threatening me i don't know why they are yeah no this is very true like i really hope that he doesn't get hurt for this all he did was do something that he got paid for why is his life being threatened it, that just doesn't not make any sense to me at all but could this be fake of course it could be it's the internet anything could be fake on it i could be fake you guys could just be seeing like a ghost. I could be dead right now, but I mean, who knows?
there is no reason for this kid's life to be in danger for, over this. Could could this kid just want some clout and he's saying that all this stuff was botted and he made a fake invoice and you know like he could just be saying all this stuff and he he thought about it for a long time brought up or like made up some proof whatever like he could be saying whatever he wants right it's the internet so yes it could be fake but it could also be real now there's another post proof of a payment transaction between the not like us streamer botter and kendrick lamar's manager has surfaced the deposit was made to bot 30 million streams the whistleblower is speaking after receiving threats to be killed from an anonymous individual. Yeah, so is this the uh, the payment of uh, quite a lot of money? Yeah, like forcing an underage kid to go into hiding is a really terrible thing to do. Like, let's see what he says. Yeah, I'm like in some random hotel right now. All I have is this. How old like, you? Oh, well, actually, you probably don't want to answer that, but um, I, um, did, did, around approximately how old are you? um i'm under 18. you're under 18 really yeah how do you get a hotel room when you're under 18. like most hotel rooms nowadays require you to have a credit card and be over the age of 18 unless you have parental permission i think that's how it works in canada i think so how did he get a hotel room when he was under the age of 18. That, that's very interesting okay all right okay um wh wh what were you gonna do or so so I was just showing you, like, I'm not at my main setup right now just because I was actually, so the, the threats and everything kind of made me scared for my safety. So what, what I did parents? was I actually got a hotel and I've been here for the past two to three weeks. What happened to your parents? Um, I'm emancipated and I work on my own and I have my own house. Are you from the United States? He has his own house under the age of 18. That's insane. Um, not born, but now I live here. Yes. Are you from Canada? Um, I, I rather would not share that. My Discord is me, show. Okay. okay. So look, see, I'm like in some random hotel right now. All I have is this. How old like, are you? Oh, well, actually, you probably so like there are there are holes in the story. All right, but like so yes, this account is definitely a huge Drake fan, right? Like, hey, like whatever. Everybody's a fan of their own thing. I never like really understood the whole beef like at all like who cares honestly who cares if somebody thinks that one rapper is better than the other like it's like saying that they like strawberry ice cream versus vanilla ice cream like who cares it doesn't make a difference this whole situation is absolutely insane i really hope that the kid who did this will stop receiving the death threats and can go home and live his actual life if that's 100 percent true again it's the internet you never know what is true and what isn't right so let's just hope that everyone stays safe. If Ke if Kendrick Lamar decided to bot a song, who cares really? Like it, it's so it's so stupid that people care so much about it, right? Like, but yes, I do really hope that the kid will be safe and that this whole situation will come to an end soon and everyone can go back and living their normal lives and not threatening underage kids over the internet. Like so stupid, man.